Hello, my dear students. Welcome back once again to this online class, Dinadayal Upadhyay Center for Kaushal and the Dhanamajuri University. All of you are very well during the COVID-19 lockdown, and also we have given you a series of uh, study materials and everything during the lockdown. And also we have shared interaction with the resource persons, your teachers, video conferencing, Skype, as well as Zoom, whichever is applicable. But due to the network problem, as well as some of the technical failure, uh, most of the students are not in a position to attend the video conferencing system. Because of this, we have uh, discussed the difficulties uh, in circulating the study materials as well as the class notes. We are uh, uploading some of the lectures so that you can easily download from the YouTube channels and uh, have a look over that, study it. And if you have any doubt, you can communicate to the numbers which are given to you. I'm just taking off my marks first and uh, uh, we'll be taking off the another topic, the example of Fourier transform for the MSc students, MSc physics students. We have already discussed about Fourier transform in detail and uh, we have also taken up some of the examples uh, today also i'm just bringing you one of the most important example the so-called rect function i'm just writing out what is a rect function this is a function of the poem pi of t equals this is equal to uh, this will be equal to one when t is t is less than half and it is equal to zero when t is greater than or equal to half. This function is the so-called rect function or rectangular function. Example of your Fourier transform. This is the application. I'm just writing a it is number one if you see this is okay minus half this is minus half and this is somewhere here is plus half and this function says that pi of t equals one whenever t is less than half so t less than half this pi of t will be equal to 1 and for those points when t is greater than or equal to half pi of t will be equal to 0 this is the reason when t greater than half for that case pi of t equals 0 here also pi of t equals 0 so pi of t will be equal to 1 this will be equal to 1 only when this I'm just writing here somewhere here pi of t equals 1 this region so if you have a close look this is 0 after this is 0 then abruptly this is to 1 this point is 1 and it will continue this is also 1 here and then like this so if you have a look and this will be of the form of a rectangle so this function is also known as the rect function or the rectangular function for a transform of this rect function maybe like this uh, we have for a transform is given by such type of equation for a transform of pi of s which is equal to integration over minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus 2 pi i s t then pi of t then this is dt okay this is the for a transform now this will be equal to for those points i have already told you that for those points when t 
is uh, greater than half minus half or plus half all those points greater than half then pi of t will be zero and this side also this is equal to zero so non-zero part is lying between this is minus half to plus half in between this the function is non-zero and it is equal to one so function this function pi of t will be equal to one only when the integration limits are minus this is minus half minus half to plus half then this is e power minus 2 pi i s t then pi of t will be equal to 1 so i'm not writing here then this is dt so ultimately we have integration over minus half to plus half e power minus 2 pi i s t dt so what is this integral this integral is a standard integral which has the form like this this e power minus a t so i write here 1 upon minus 2 pi i s multiplied this over <coughs> sorry e power then this is minus 2 pi i s t and the limits of integrations are minus half and this is plus half or plus no matter whether it is written or not and this is equal to minus 1 upon 2 pi i s if i put the upper limit then this will be e power minus 2 pi i s instead of t i write this as equal to half minus of e power then again minus 2 pi i s then instead of t here i put the lower limit minus half this is minus half now that will be equal to sub minus 1 upon 2 pi i s then this is e power 2 and 2 will go so this will be minus pi i s again minus e power minus and a minus will be plus so this is minus and this is minus so it will become plus and this two and this two will go so this will be plus pi i s this after a slight modification i can write this as negative here negative i am just coming in here then this will be negative and negative and negative this will become positive so i write here 2 pi i s and i also take this first e power my pi i s minus this will become minus because of this this will become minus and e power minus pi i s so this further may be written in the form i write here 1 upon pi and s pi and s here and i bring e power pi i s minus e power uh, minus pi i s then this will be 2i so this is of the form e power uh, theta minus e power minus theta divided by 2i which is the very famous formula for sine of theta so this will be equal to this will be equal to 1 upon pi s then that will be your sine of pi s sine pi s so this may be written under form sine of pi s by uh, pi s sine of pi s by pi s is uh, also known as this is also known as the sinc function s i n c sinc function so ultimately uh, the Fourier transform of pi of t a rectangular function turns out to be a sinc function that is the form 
before the Fourier transform, the rectangular function. Now, after taking the Fourier transform of this rectangular function, this will look like this. Okay, the the uh, it will have a uh, spectrum like this. Then it is just fading off because of the sink sinking down and down like this. Ultimately, it will fade off on both sides here, negative, then positive, and it goes on like this. This is the so-called sink function. Why this is sink? Because on both sides of the central maxima, the spectrum or the function is decreasing or sinking off like this. So this is how we take the Fourier transform of the rectangular function. Hope I think all of you have understood this sort of uh, lecture. If you have any doubt, uh, as usual, you please contact us uh, through the telephone number which was already been given to you. And uh, uh, I think uh, some of the examples which are also important for the exam other than this will be taken up in the next class for today. Uh, thank you so much and uh, uh, have a nice day, home stay, stay safe. Thank you.